I was running open board here with Bison Transport in my own own uh, Volvo unit uh, for the past year up until December 2015. As of January the 1st, we did the switch over to a new dedicated schedule running the Eastern Seaboard because of the Eastern Seaboard premium being a bit higher than the regular pay scale. You can run less miles and still make the same money as if you're running open board. Our goal is to run 5,000 miles per pay period where on the open board our goal was to run our full 70 hour cycle to get us close to 6,500 miles per pay period. So therefore the difference of 1,500 miles, 5,000 miles running Eastern Seaboard is equal to running 6,500 miles on open, on open board and you make the same amount of money. We actually get paid for our waiting time. When we're sitting at the customer for over two hours, we're paid hourly. At the border, if we're waiting more than an hour, we get paid hourly. If we get delayed with a trailer breakdown, we also get paid for detention time. So therefore, all your times are paid for, there is no wasted time, and there's more hourly pay to be made if there is a delay, buys and does compensate us. Try it out for a pay period, run the miles, and then compare the Eastern Seaboard pay scale to the open board, you know, figure out your base rate, figure out how much fuel you use, and see for yourself the extra income that you make running Eastern Seaboard by running the less miles for more money. call each other to find out the specifics of directions, the amount of time they would take to load or offload. I have to plan my trip. It's more responsibility, but if you want to make more money, you have to take more responsibility.